Did you see that nose stud? Mm -hmm. I mean, what happens when you sneeze? I don't understand how they can walk around like that. What now? Zoe? Zoe? Whatever it is you're doing in there, stop it. It's time to go to sleep. Down the hallway to the left. Mr. Morgan's down here. Out you this bag, then she's all yours. Hey, shoot this joint before you bag it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like our Morgan girl was partying with a friend. One joint, two bottles. One with lipstick, one without. Well, there's five plates and five glasses. I'm guessing the friend was here for dinner. Yeah, maybe the type to eat, kill, and run. So the dinner guest might have been the daughter's boyfriend. The people downstairs never saw them with anybody. They say the Morgans kept a pretty tight leash on their kids. Except for the reefer and the malt liquor. Yeah, and the tramp stamp on the girl's back. Looks like a work in progress. An angel. Yeah, where the parents would never see it. We'll find out who was seeing it. Oh, and by the way, without the beards, you guys look five years younger. Which makes you about 12. Black lipstick, black nail polish, spiked neck collar. Being goth never killed anybody. Condoms on the inside and this on the outside. Uh, a bartender. Every parent's nightmare. Yeah, building site in the background, hardy construction. I saw it on the news. I, uh, I just can't get my head around it. It didn't occur to you to tell the police you're the victim's boyfriend. Was I supposed to do that? We weren't that tight. Where were you last night? I was right here. We close at four. All right, so we checked Zoe's phone records. We're gonna find any calls or texts from you. We were supposed to meet here, and she blew me off. I wasn't too happy about it. She tell you why she stood you up? She said she had to take care of some chick she met at a club. Did you know this girl? No, but I guess that her and Zoe were pretty tight. They, uh, they got inked together. No kidding. The tattoo parlor. Your recommendation, yeah? Yeah, I worked on her. She said she was a friend of Tommy's. We're gonna need the name and description of the girl she was with. She's hard to miss. Uh, she had a green jacket and dark hair with racing stripes. The tattoo you did, this it? This isn't representative of my work. They wouldn't let me finish. What would this look like finished? A devil stabbing an angel. 
It's their own design. They brought it in. Why wouldn't they let you finish it? The one in the green jacket was worried about missing some curfew. She said a guard wouldn't let her in past 11. This blood stain, whose is it? The friend, the green jacket. It got on there when I was inking her. Hey, the blood from the sketch matched an unidentified blood swab from Zoe's bedroom. So her friend was there? Yeah, as a witness or an accomplice. A girl with an 11 p.m. curfew and a security guard. You think a halfway house or a shelter for runaways? No, I think we're gonna be ringing a lot of doorbells. This girl's Bonnie Jones. She stayed with us for three weeks. I have a picture we took of her for an ID. The other girl I saw a few times out front with Bonnie. Okay, you know where we can find Bonnie? No, she left about a week ago. Why do you need to talk to her? Oh, uh, this girl? Zoe Morgan, her and her family were killed last Tuesday. Bonnie might know something about it. Damn. Any idea why Bonnie left the shelter? Not sure. The day before, she got into a fight with this pimp out front. His name's Freddy. Bonnie said he stole her pink backpack. Freddy ran off before I could call the cops. Freddy tracked her down to the Morgans. Hmm. If we wanted to find Freddy. The B cops have run him off the block a few times. I'm sure they'd have his information. Freddy! It's me, the super Ahmed. I, I told you he's away on vacation or something. I didn't. You smell him there? Yeah. Decomp. Hello? <clears throat> you never noticed that smell. I uh, got allergies. <laughs> I'm covered. Yeah. Stay here. Curtis Mayfield, Freddy's dead. Nothing from the canvas, you? There's eight kinds of nasty down here, but I got something. Could be Bonnie's backpack. Brush, dark hair, smokes. Bonnie in better days. Two ticket stubs to the horrorcore fest at the Red Bar. The show was the night before Bonnie had her fight with Freddy. Sorry, man. Juggalos all look alike to me. Juggalos? That's what those horrorcore rap psychos call themselves. They put on clown makeup, dye their hair. <laughs> They're freaks, man. It's a matter of opinion, yeah? Well, a matter of fact. Their music's all about how much they hate everybody and what they're going to do about it. The promoter left these. Help yourself. Horrorcore CD. This is one of the rappers for the show. The band's website doesn't give a clue what this knife and neck thing's about. Well, kids tend to brag about their crimes. Check with the message board. There's a lot of messages to the band. Search a knife and neck. One hit. That's a link. TheRealGore.com, photos of the grotesque for the disturbed. It's nice to give you a choice. You can choose car accidents, suicides, decapitation. Knife in the neck. Th that's, that's our victim, Don Morgan. Our photo has footprints that theirs doesn't have. Their picture was taken before the police got there by the perp. It was posted by Crazy Jay. Familiar. An artist who draws from reality. Yeah, he's working on another one called Black Madonna with red and white dreadlocks spread around her head like a halo. What are you doing here? Have you heard from Bonnie? No. Oh, can't we do this tomorrow? We believe she's hooked up with a very dangerous individual. Is there some problem here? They're looking for Bonnie. Whose green jacket is that? It's Bonnie's, isn't it? She's here. She says you've been harassing her. I'm gone. Yeah. You gotta let me in right now, please. Where is she? Playing with Sasha. Bonnie? 
It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Bonnie, put the knife down. Let her go. Oh, my God. Bonnie, let her go. It's gonna be all right. It's okay. Just put the knife down. <laughs> 